Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Very excited to be here because I hit Diamond 24. I'm getting up there guys. We're getting really, really close to getting this legendary tier one. But here's the deal, I'm trying to hit it before the season ends. And I don't know if it's possible, but that's what my goal is. Now, I've been pushing, I've been pushing hard. You know, I've only had a couple losses. I'm averaging, it looks like I win two and then I lose one. So I'm just barely missing that win streak, which would explode my win rate, not my win rate, which would explode the amount of stars I'm getting by a lot. But guys, here we go. I'm just gonna show you First of all, I want to show you my win rate. I'm at a 60.2, which is pretty good. Jimmy's down here. He did hit diamond one, or 21 star one. Um, good for him, but yeah, I'm up here. It's the highest I've been, 342 battles, and we're going strong. Ever since I got these damage amplifiers, it's gone. It's been going so much better than when I didn't have them, and I placed them in a way where all of my Doom Cannons, first of all, I switched my prototypes to Doom Cannons, so laser beams to Doom Cannons. I feel like they work better. And then I grabbed myself a microwaver. Not sure if that's new from last time. And then we have a bunch of damage amplifiers. Two damage amplifiers covering all my rocket launchers. Well, except except three. And then my shock launchers, some boom cannons, some doom cannons, some mortars. It's a really good base. One thing, there are people who are barding down the engine rooms. I believe, I believe this guy was. He just, that's my attack. I always mess it up. Okay, I believe he barred down my engine room, and that's why, yeah. I, I feel like the damage dealt by barraging an engine room should be like 90%, so it's you can't do this because it's so cheaty to win this way. And I just got one of his. Let's jump into it though, I'll show you my strategy. This is my tech tree. If you guys wanna pause it, you guys can take a look at it. As of now, I don't really know what I'm trying to focus on. Like I'm trying to get myself the sky shield as fast as possible. So I'm gonna go here, probably gonna grab the boom cannons because the boom surprises are like not very good. And then I'm gonna grab myself some troop health and then I'm gonna unlock myself some sky shields. So I could put the sky shields over my shield or my engine rooms and we can protect ourselves. Okay. But as of stuff I'm upgrading with my tokens, I'm kind of just upgrading whatever I feel like it. I'm doing building damage, I'm doing troop HP, troop damage, I'm just trying to keep alive. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I am on a times three win streak, so hopefully we could get ourselves this dub and get an extra star. Haven't gotten that extra star for a while. This is taking a long time. And I feel myself getting expanded out to other people. So hopefully we match up against someone easy. But there's a chance we're going to match up against someone harder. Okay, not too bad. I am worried about all of these boom mines. Okay, I do want to go from... See, I always go... Oh my gosh, this guy has some wicked mine placement. Good for him. This is going to suck. These boom mines are ugly. I kind of just want to go in using hookah or something, but I don't know if I'll be able to reach the cores. See, if I could get warriors back there, it's a done deal. So we're going to try doing it. I don't think he's going to grab any of my engine rooms, but let's go for it. Let's try. Yuck. There's so many boom mines, and the problem is, guys, boom mines hurt. Boom mines hurt a lot. Okay, I'm sending a couple, I don't know what to call them, auxiliary boats out to <laughs> clear the mines. And hopefully that shall do the trick. We're going to keep the moving bullet. Uh, it's going to get hit, so that's okay. Let's get back there. Ooh, oof, okay. Gonna lose a couple. Oh, I'm not liking those. Oh, those mines up there are gonna hurt. Okay, we lost a lot of troops, but we do have energy. We'll be able to take out one of these. Man, that was a rough run. I was just able to get one. Let's try to get the second one here. Okay, we got a flare. Oh my gosh, the flares take so long to go up. 
Oh man, because your gumbo is way over here, the opposite side of the map, and we did it. We were able to get him. Um, we took two engine rooms, which is really good. I wasn't expecting to take two. I was expecting to take one. One is pretty much the norm, and then any damage I do after that is really good. Yeah, I want to show you my base design. Most people don't use warriors, but this guy's going to go for it. This microwaver is kind of anti-warriors. Ooh. 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 He tried to get up there. He did take down quite a bit, and he had the energy. He barded that engine room down. Just doesn't know how to use warriors or finagle around that microwaver. If I was attacking my base, you would go for this engine room right here because the microwaver barely covers it. You would take down that one and then you would flare up and shock the microwaver. Like 10 or 15 warriors will die from the microwaver or maybe even less than that and it's fine. Like that's not a big deal. I don't know where I had that. We'll just keep it there. Let's keep going though. Let's not get caught up on one attack. One win is not that good. We gotta get win after win after win. We gotta burst up here. Okay, level 10 mines. I could tank so many level 10 mines. Oh man, I really like it here. This is this is my attack combination. Like, I love attacking with warriors. Dang it, that was a mistake. Uh, there are a couple fails I've had. Actually, a lot of fails I've had. Mostly when I attack from the other beach, I'm just not used to it. Or when I can't drop that flare in that corner, that always sucks. Or when my smoke take too long to go up and I just mess up that. But normally, I did not see that microwaver. Oh my gosh. Let's shock it. <laughs> I did not see that microwaver. Dang. Okay. Uh, let's try to take one. Come on, troops. He took one. I don't think I'm gonna beat him. Dang. <laughs> Can we take one? At least we'll have a chance if we're able to take one. Oh, and he took two. Good for him. Oh, man. See, as soon as I get that win streak, I lose it. I still have an over 50% win streak, which is nice. But that was my bad. I, I did not see the microwaver. <laughs> I'm blind, guys. Well, good, good job to him. I want to see what his strategy is. I bet he's going from up here because that's my weak spot. See? No, he's going from down here. Okay. My microwaver is really weak. If you have a bunch of HP on your troops... What is... Oh, he's not using warriors. He's using hookah. Hookah is also good. My smokes aren't upgraded enough for me to use hookah. But if you're good at hookah, this is your attack combination up here really good okay so I see the microwaver now I have a strategy I don't know if it's gonna work that's how all my attacks start I'm like okay I have a, a little strategy but I don't know I don't think it's gonna work boom mines are the worst and I don't even have boom mines unlocked I don't have boom mines or shock mines guys I'm not really a mine guy See, it's times like those where a second longer would have screwed me over so hard. Ooh, what the heck? Just what was that? Something just wiped out my army. <laughs> what? Dang it, what was that? After I was saying number one is the norm, I want to watch that back because something just completely wrecked my army. Okay, all, all heavies. Is that the strategy to use? I've seen so many people use all heavies. Oh, he has Zookas, never mind. Oh, he's going to whip me. Oh, and he has brick. Awesome. Bullet, not brick. Maybe not. What? Wait, what happened? <laughs> Am I gonna beat him? I don't know if the percent I dealt counters that percentage he, he had. I dealt a lot to his engine room, so maybe? I did. What? <laughs> Both of our attacks were just like, wait, what just happened? I wanna see what killed all my troops. Something fired. I don't think it was the microwaver. 
I'm watching this in times one half speed. Okay, so I get the shock down. Good. And they just all die. I wonder if he had mines back there or something. I mean, I won, so I'm not complaining. It was just a pretty, pretty bad attack. Okay, I don't know what that was. That was my base. Yeah, he has a boom mine, but there's no other mines. Yeah, it may have just been the rocket launchers. Just dealing damage. Dang, that sucks. That I was, I mean, I got the dub, so that's cool. But... <laughs> At the expense of losing my army or something. Oh, this guy. I think I'm being called to use hookah. I don't like that. I don't like using hookah. But his layout is just anti-warrior galore. I don't know. I mean, I could get back there. But the thing is, is machine guns hurt. Hurt, guys. Or I could just go hookah from the bottom. Oh, he has so many doom cannons. I'm really scared. We're just going to go smoky hookah. Uh, let's go three and one, and then we'll grab myself some taunt. Or should I get brick? We'll bring brick. Boost us up a bit. No, stupid, stupid, stupid. We'll bring taunt. Taunt's better. Okay. Uh, three plus seven. Oh, five. Yeah, okay, so eight. I have to admit, did not see that rocket launcher until I landed. Hopefully it won't be an issue. Uh, we'll have to take it down. Oh, dang it, I don't wanna do anything. Perfect. These will distract. Oh, I'm worried. We'll get make it down. So those Zookas that are wounded won't hurt. Oof, 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 oof. The problem is, is I really need to upgrade my smoke. Shoot. I because my smoke doesn't last. It doesn't last long enough for hookah attacks. So like I can't ever really do hookah. Oh shoot, oh dang it, oh we are so fried. We are so fried. <laughs> we'll taunt. Oh man, <laughs> can we take one down? <laughs> oh. Okay, we're just gonna deal damage. I don't know how far he's at. I don't know what just happened. I, what? I suck at hookah. Yeah, so I need to upgrade my smoke. I think that should be my priority. I think he got me. 1%. Good job. Okay, I want to watch what he did. You know, my base has weaknesses. You can't... There's people who are able to take down the beginning part of my base and take an engine room. Oh, so he just barely got one. Where? How do you deal damage? Oh, he just barred it down. Wow. Good job. He had so much extra energy. Okay, man. Okay, so it's a struggle. I was doing better before I started recording. But I think I need to upgrade smoke so I could do hookah attacks. Like, I have maxed out hookah. So if I upgrade smoke... Okay, this is the base we like to see. This is pretty much an easy, easy dub. I don't want to sound cocky, guys, but... It doesn't get much easier than this, up this high. <laughs> and what makes it so easy? One, I'm probably... 200 points over him on the tech level which means I have way better defenses like he doesn't have prototypes I mean he does have prototypes he chose flotsams I almost made a mistake and not dropped anything there that would have sucked boom 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 yeah so definitely upgrade smoke I keep telling myself that I don't want to forget it and I know what you're saying, like, Christian, what's the point of... Shoot. Like, Christian, what's the point of bringing Brick if you're not really using him? That's a good point. I'm not really using him. Because he just sits up there. He's not, like, 
anywhere. There's some attacks where I'm able to use him to get in the right placement. And after I said I was, this was the easiest it gets, I'm probably going to lose this. Because that guy, when he takes down one, you don't know where he's at. <laughs> this is not my day. Last video, oh, and he cleared. I don't know, this is going to be close. I dealt more damage on his cores. If he could take down. See how fast his heavies die? Heavies are insane. I don't understand how people have so much energy. Like, there's people who literally barred down my engine rooms, and it has 100,000 HP, and then they drop troops and run a full attack. Like, what is this? <laughs> I take back what I said about tech level. He's definitely around my tech level. I don't think I could see that. Are you kidding me? 1% again? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Can I see his tech level? I wanna see his tech level. I don't wanna drop down. No. Okay, here's the deal. This is what they do. They, one, max out barrages, which I should probably do. <laughs> then they upgrade that energy, that energy, and this energy. And he was probably around my tech level because that guy had energy, let me tell you. What sucks is he had such an easy base to attack and I just messed it up. Okay, this will be the last one for today. Let's see if I screw this one up also. I probably will. But hopefully we won't. Ah, oh, I'm not used to the smoke. It takes so freaking long to get anywhere. See how long it takes? It's really annoying. Okay. Uh, I should probably... I should really switch from not using brick anymore. Bullet, sorry. Brick. Okay, troops. Give me a couple or something. I just wasted that. So much. Put that down. At least two. Two is like the best you can do. Perfect. And we can part down that other one. Good. We'll just deal as much damage as we can to these other ones. Uh, garage. Dang. First of all, good job to him. Like that base would be hard to hit using hookah. But that's the type of play. Okay, let's see what he does. So he tried to bark down my engine room, like I told you guys, and I'm gonna beat him, cause you can't do that. It only works when I can only take down one engine room of his, and then he'll be able to get the destruction from here, plus the one engine room up here. We'll see if he's able to grab that other, or grab two more engine rooms, like I took down three of his, I think. So we'll, we'll see if he can grab three of mine. He's not gonna do. He's not going to. My base is way too powerful. He'll take down one, that's fine. But yeah, these damage amplifiers was probably the best decision. I would say out of that group of defenses, um, the choice choice ones, multi, multi notes. Out of that multi note clump, the damage amplifiers are by far the best. Okay, we got one win. We stay home. <laughs> I've only gained one star in today's video. Actually, no, I didn't gain any stars. I've lost three and won three. So, where is it? Damage amplifier. Honestly, like, rocket launchers are probably pretty good. I would not go for the flotsams. Those are so useless. Yeah, the damage amplifiers are by far the best. The damage amplifiers is stuff that it's dual targeting, so I set it up so it's dual targeting this Doom Cannon. Deals over 6,000 damage. Almost 7,000 damage. Like, it wrecks heavies. And also, all my rocket launchers in this area, like, this one deals so much damage to, to troops. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, as always, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.